kind of got this yep. one nailed. And uh, let's see if either of these players can emulate the Swedes' victories here. And um, he's off on to Pavel at the start. He does pick up the Mega Health. And he's getting a lot of pressure from his opponent. He hasn't got any weapons yet. We'll pick up the Lightning Gun. So interesting start there is he gets both the big items and his opponent gets the, the kind of start with the weapons. But he didn't really do anything with the weapons. That's really the problem. Yeah, Gunnan would have been maybe better off if he had waited down the bottom and had actually just waited for for Pavel to go for the rail, in which case he maybe it might have been able to rail him again. But uh, it would be interesting to see if Gunnan can hit a shot on rail on the red here because he really needs to because now Cook can can uh, maybe attack this Mega, which he has, so he should be able to get the Mega, the other yellow, and then set up for the next red. So it might be tough for Gynon to really get that overwhelming stack at the start of the game, which is what you're really after, especially after you have all the guns, which both players actually do right now. So, uh, yeah, especially now that uh, Gynon is... He, he knows where Pavel is, but Pavel doesn't know where he is, so that is his only advantage at the moment. So, see how that works out. And there goes Pavel with the silent drop there. He hears something around him, and he knows the Mega's coming soon. There he's going to go straight onto the Mega area, trying to predict his opponent. Oh, that rocket jump could have been so good, but anyway, he will pick up the Mega, so no harm done. And there's I think that rocket. Sorry, I think that rocket jump is actually, even though he didn't do any damage, he actually found out exactly where he was, so it actually was worth it, it just for the 30 health to work out where Gynon uh, exactly was, so it worked out quite well anyway. Especially now that he's going to be able to get the red, and, and he did the right thing in dropping down, so he, ooh, I would have liked maybe to go through the teleporter, but the attack is good as well. So he's actually worked out, he's pushing him for the kill, which is, it can be work, can work, then cannot. And it actually has worked this time, so excellent, so he should be able to get in, in the mega. Just got to watch for him to spawn at rail, which he has. Oh, oh no, Gina's going to steal the Mega un from under his nose and Pavel going to go down, so after all that great effort, unfortunately, I know, a bit of an executional error on the positioning in, in the mid-fight seemed to punish him there, but he does get a fantastic rocket Gina in there onto Pavel there as he picks up that railgun. So Gina kind of switching the tables now and just has to stack up a bit more, just a tiny bit more as he keeps trying to work out exactly where Pavel is. And there he hears the weapon picked up. He's going to go drop from behind and uh, still can't get to grips with Pavel just yet. Gonna pick up the next Mega. So Guinan playing things very slow right now, it seems. Red's up on the spot and Pavel's going to grab that one. So Guinan should be aware of that. And he does spot him too. He's got confirmation of Pavel's position. And now he's just got to try to work out how what to do from now. I think Guinan thought for a second there that he hadn't grabbed Red, which was probably a mistake. And did, uh, Pavel did do well to sort of lay low for a while, and then he managed to get onto the red. So this is where some players like Gynon is actually set up for a frag here, because he probably thinks the cook is a lot lower than what he is, and it has actually worked out. Although he did get him within seven health, so maybe if he had to use LG, he would have been better off. But uh, yeah, he should push in for Mega, and he has. Even if he, even if Gynon gets it, he's he should get the kill here. Oh, but terrible, terrible rockets. That's. I'm going to have a look at his ping, or oh, 58, we'll let him get away with that then. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that wasn't exactly ideal. Yeah, Pavel's usually known for great rockets as well, so that's quite surprising to see. And there is the challenge here coming in from Pavel with the rail gun. And he, I mean, he committed quite a lot there. I mean, he could have... I mean, he, I guess he knew that one rail before the red pickup would have spelt the death of Gina, but still sticking around for a, quite a long time. Gina going to make his way around to the next yellow. Got the Mega coming up soon as well. There's no challenge directly from Pavel just yet, as Gina just sits there with the Lightning Gun, ready and waiting for anything at all. And he's going to pick up the yellow too. So he's super stacked at the moment, trying to push into this red armor. The, the fake rocket jump there, interesting, but unfortunately caught by two great rails from Pavel, and Gina will get away there. But I guess that's actually a good result for Pavel there. Yeah, that was. I don't really think the p fake rocket jump there and in, in that situation would ever really serve any purpose. I mean, if he was going to shoot you, then he would have been able to. He wouldn't have been able to. He would have been able to do it anyway. So it was sort of really didn't really achieve anything. Just got railed and sort of put him out of position a little for the red as well. But uh, he will be able to get the mega and then perhaps move in for red and maybe a little bit of damage. But Pavel should be there. Well, he's not. A little, little bit off it, which has actually worked out well for Garnon. So if he grabs the red and then maybe drops down to the 50 bubble, he might be able to catch Pavel before the next yellow comes up. So we'll see what he wants to do. I think that might be ideal, but he's actually gone for the yellow, which is quite good as well, provided it is up. He has taken some damage. With the other yellow up, he could almost get around there and get back to Mega, but I'd say that he'll probably just set up for the Mega, which is what he is moving in to do now. So we'll see if he can. who wins this one. It'll be crucial. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Ian just spotting his opponent from the distance. And that, I mean, giving that position away, not even only hitting the rail, means he can go for the teleport for pressure, but he actually dies, which is really crazy. He should have used uh, rockets. LG there is just a terrible idea. I mean, you can't really, especially with the amount of health that uh, Pavel had, he was never going to get him off the red in time using LG. He needed to maybe use rockets to knock him away, and it could have would have been excellent because he would have been able to get that, maybe hit him with a rail as he falls, either go for the red or go back for Mega. Rather, what he did was he sort of tried to push in with LG, but sort of did it half-heartedly, and then he got punished for that. So it was good positioning by uh, Cook to stand behind the uh, the pillar like that, which was obviously the right thing to do, but still, nonetheless, it was a good idea. Yeah, it's a shame. It could have gone really, really brilliantly for him. But Would have been better, yeah. Uh, Ginnan there, he's, he's uh, stabilized somewhat, does pick up Mega as well. I mean, all this back and forth pressure has kind of equalized the game so far. Great little flick rail from above. And he's going to be able to get this red pretty easily, I think. I mean, it shouldn't be so much hassle coming in from Pavel. Maybe if rail or too long distance. But Ginnan has a rail of his own. So, but actually, Pavel's just going to walk straight onto the red. He does even manage to just barely steal it, leaving Ginnan with only 100 health and no armor. So this is Pavel is investing in that frag in uh, some kind of follow-up aggression. But, but where is it? I mean, I don't see Pavel anywhere yep. near Ginnan, Ginnan right now. It wasn't exactly the good time to really show that aggression, where the, all the items were up for not for a while. So that means that the other player can use their gun advantage to you, I mean, uh, against you, which Conan didn't exactly use there, but he did have the high ground and a rail. He didn't hit a shot, and he's actually let uh, Pavel get all the items. He should just try and back away, but then he, he sort of wanted to fight, which was okay because he did have the gun advantage, but then it didn't work out because he missed all his rockets. So, uh, yeah, yeah Gunan's under the pump now, and he's going to he's gonna be under a lot of pressure here to actually stay alive. Interestingly, when Pavel went aggressive there, he he missed all of his, his LG when Gina was on 5 health. Gina hit 200 damage he shouldn't have hit. And right now, Pavel is on 120 health instead of 200. But it looks like that window of opportunity for Gina kind of faded away there as he wasn't able to do much in time. And, and Pavel, still though, he's not super strong. Only 80 armor. The, a yellow did spawn behind him, I think. And, or I guess it was the other yellow. And uh, he's kind of... Not necessarily at a loss for what to do, but his options aren't super strong right now because his stack is kind of kind of weak. And there is Ginnan from below with the lightning gun. Can really, really push Pavel off of this red if he was to stick around, perhaps. But he's going to go for the Mega instead. He's probably a safer play. Gets him, should get him some yellows as well. So I like that from Ginnan, playing it slow. And it's just a one frag difference and two and a half minutes left. It's, it's really close. Yep, I also really like what uh, Pavel did there. He knew that he wasn't going to get to Mega in time and it would have been risky to go through the teleporter. So he dropped down and went for a rail, which was really effective and sort of has enabled him to maybe get the kill here because he had 80 less health um, than what he would have because he hit him with a rail. So that's actually worked out amazingly well for, for Pavel. He's just got to get up some health, which he probably should have dropped to the health bubble that he has grabbed now. So he should be fine now because as long as he doesn't take like a lucky rocket here, he'll get to Mega, so I'd like maybe for him to have gone to the 50 bubble, but it has, it's, as long as he's alive here, that's the main thing, and he is alive, and he has now got back up to a decent stack, so he's got to use his gun advantage, right now that's only rail, so he's really got to use that to his advantage in this fight, and he is using it well, so he's hit him with a nice rail. Back away now is good as well, because he does have 100-100, you got to understand that if he had 100 and 100 zero or something like that, then he might want to go for another rail, but at 100-100 you're sort of safe from any sort of rushes, so he should be fine here, provided especially if he gets on to one of these yellows, which he should do because he's waiting at one, and Ganon's not really that close. Yeah, we'll pick that yellow up as well, and a minute and a half left, and a rail hit by Ginnan, so the pressure is starting to mount quite significantly so, with the timer being so close to hitting that 10-minute mark. And there is the pickup of the red from Ginnan, so he's, he's clearly going to go pretty nuts very soon. He's got not much time to get these two frags left. He just needs the first one. He just needs the first one to put... Pavel back to zero, just reset him completely. No weapons, no armor, no nothing off the spawn. That would really enable him to go and grab that, that equalizer pretty easily. But it's just getting that first one that's really the trouble. And Ginnan trying to find him, but Pavel knows at all costs he's just got to evade his opponent and make him walk into rockets. And oh, beautiful little flick there as uh, Ginnan gets caught in the distance going oh, for that Mega now. What oh. is he doing? Oh, he had a chance caught. to go for Mega and he just chose not to. I don't know what it sort of Cook was trying to do there. I mean, he'd, hit, he'd done excellently, excellently well to hit the rail when he rocket jumped up to that air, to the 50 bubble, but then he decided not to go for the Mega, which was definitely a mistake because he would have been able to get it. And probably
probably get the frag as well. So he's now under the pressure now with 24 seconds to go. This will be tough for him to survive. And if Ginnan manages to get this frag, this equalizer as well, he's probably going to have control going into overtime unless Pavel does enough damage. And he's going to pick up another Yalikin's left now. 10 seconds. It's, uh, he's got to find his opponent. Eight seconds left now, waiting for that Mega. Like, nothing is wrong. Geenan, he's got to find Pavel. Pavel putting out the smiley face. He knows it's over, and that's going to be it. I can't, I have no idea why he waited for that Mega. That's like a precious few yeah. seconds lost there. I, I didn't think that was the right move either, but I think maybe at the end, Gainon, he would have been actually maybe a really good brain if he had have waited at the window and waited for Pavel to come through the, th through the archway and maybe had a rocket and a rail at him, and that would have been his only chance because he should have known that chasing, he would never get there in time. So he would have to wait for Pavel to sort of come through if he did come through and that would have been the only way He sort of would have got the kill, but he didn't end up doing that and that was his last chance So Pavel did end up winning. This is the best of three or best of one. It's the best of one at this stage Okay, so, so well done to Pavel and he moves through I guess. Yeah I mean it's, it's very encouraging though to see the shape of our Polish player there again because you know going to DreamHack again being an up-and-comer, you know We want to see some crazy crazy upsets crazy results and he looks like he's uh could very well be providing some upsets in future tournaments, especially DreamHack. So really looking forward to seeing more from him. But uh, guys, we'll go to a quick break. When we come back, we'll have another match set up for you. So stay tuned for that. We'll be here waiting for you very shortly. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> 